Take a look at this. Thieves caught on camera stealing from a local nonprofit that serves low income families in the San Joaquin area. The Habitat for Humanity group in Stockton says over the last couple months, they've become a target, losing thousands of dollars in materials. CBS 13 Sharon Roger joins us live from the newsroom with a closer look, Sharon, at what's happening here. Yeah, Tony and Adrian, anywhere from tiles to faucets to doors are being taken from this Habitat for Humanity store, and they've been hit up multiple times, according to the executive director, since October. And now it's adding up, hitting their bottom line, and ultimately impacting the community they're trying to serve. Someone on the camera comes along the side, already in our storage area, so they must have climbed the fence over there. Surveillance video from this Habitat for Humanity discount store in Stockton shows thieves carrying out case after case of tiles through a fence. It was uh, cases of tile in the box, a uh, full pallet, nice new tile in the case. The nonprofit's discount store relies on reselling donated materials in order to fund the building of homes for low income families who qualify throughout the San Juan. Region. Uh, it's added up to the thousands, and for every dollar that we don't generate, that's one less thing we can put in the home. Executive Director Ted Van Allen says everything from tile to cabinets, doors, doorknobs, faucets, even tools are being stolen. One less window, one less door, one less pallet of wood or drywall that we can afford because of the lack of funds. I think that's horrible that people are stealing from the store because it helps families all around our community, such as my family. Renee Hill is a single mother of three, one of the lucky recipients of a brand new home. We were struggling, so, you know, I'm very thankful that Habitat of Humanity has you know, helped us along the way. As required through the program, Hill has put in hundreds of hours of love and sweat to help build the home. We help build along this whole backyard fencing area. It's going to be real exciting for me and my family. For Hill and her kids, this is her foundation. But she's worried if the thefts continue, other families in her community who are also in need won't be as fortunate as her. You're not just impacting a store. You're impacting the people we serve. And since these incidents started, the store has added cameras, new locks, but they're asking for the public's help in identifying the people responsible. But Van Allen says no matter what, he is hopeful that their mission will continue. Yeah, they do great work impacting lots of lives. Sharon, thank you.